Good boy. Good boy. With me. Let's go. Are the mics working? Dude, oh my god, this is so botched. Welcome back to the Botch Pod, the worst podcast in the world. Today... We have Hood Santa, where Chris and Maxine. Oh yeah, the gang's all here. Thank you guys for joining <laughs> us. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Where, man? So they are hyperactive, hyperactive, <laughs> but very well trained, dude. I don't know how you get pitbulls to train like that. Like man, that, that was impressive when you walked in it's, here. It's every day. You know yeah. what I'm saying like they my kids, so you know, good days, bad days. You know what I'm saying mostly good days. You know what I'm saying, but. Yeah, they, it's like talking to a kid that, you know, just want to do whatever he want to do and, you know, <laughs> whatever you say, they just be like, one ear out the other, basically. But some days it's better, some days it's good. You know, I try to keep them in public areas where they could be distracted the most. Like, you know, they're not neuter or anything like that, so it's hard to take them to dog parks, but, you know, I try to take them to, like, Niagara Falls, you yeah. know, other dogs around or, you know, other people around and just... You know, go through training like that, but ain't enough time in the day for yeah. these pit bulls, I swear. Keep them active and shit, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's good. So, for those of you that don't know, this guy rides all over Buffalo <laughs> on a skateboard, sitting on a skateboard, and these two dogs pull him all the time. How how did that even start? Man, it it started off with just having one dog. And, you know, anybody that have a dog or have a skateboard, okay. <laughs> Relax. Relax. We want some. We want some. When uh, anyone that has a skateboard, you know, and a dog, usually they try that at least once where they had the dog pull them on a the skateboard. For sure. And stuff like that. Um, when it comes to my dogs, um, I, was, I was mostly by MLK. I ain't going to hold you. Um, I was living by, <laughs> I live by MLK and um, basically... Around MLK, they had seagulls, and it was kind of easy because I had my one dog, and I'm like, okay, she likes birds or anything that runs, of course. Yeah. So that's how I help myself maintain like a structure to actually hold them and stuff like that. But going around in that ice, you know, where they had the fountain, just going around in circles, you know, helped me kind of like practice on how to hold them. You know, if my dog try to run a certain way, how to position my arm and stuff like that, kind of like manhandle my dog in a sense, but using the um, the leash. But for the most part, it was just, I don't know, like I'm bored in the house. You know, a lot of people, uh, growing up, my grandma used to be like, <laughs> <laughs> I need you to sit down, yo. Lay down, 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 yeah. <laughs> so growing up, my grandma used to be like, <laughs> he's just, he's dialed on it's kind of like I gotta hold the torch now. He's Relax. Here, let's do this. Leave it. Leave it. So, growing up, my grandma used to be like, if you're bored, you know, find something to do. And so I used to be like, all right, grandma, that doesn't make any sense because if I'm bored, I'm just bored. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so it just came to a point where after anything, if I'm trying to do something, I just create something create something to do and riding a skateboard just has to be one of them it's just been a fun activity stuff like that <laughs> you really trying to get that peanut butter <laughs> he's set on it yeah for a fact leave it no he's like, come on 
really? No. Is it going to do me like so, that? So, um, back to the skateboard thing, like, I feel like it would be way easier standing up. I don't know. Oh, it is. Definitely. Okay. But the <laughs> majority of the videos, you're sitting down. Yeah, because it's way more comfortable. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's way more comfortable. And then, like, a lot of people, they'd be like, you look, you look uncomfortable. Like, you're holding your legs up the whole time. Like, no, it's a skateboard. Like, you know, I have an adult size skateboard. So, you know, the skateboard is actually holding my, keep my, low, my legs propped it up, actually, because, you know, it slants yeah. back up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, at first I, it was standing up and then I just kneeled down and then it came from kneeling down to sitting down and I'm like, oh, and it's then I, I let them have it. full control of it. But even with, uh, so it started off standing up. I started standing up with her and I had her doing me like running by herself. Get him. He was just, you know, a horny dog. You know, he was like, let me follow this female dog. And after <laughs> yeah. a couple of sessions, he was running. And then, you know, but to go back, standing up, it was a lot easier. And then it helped me get my commands. All right, you know, go, take off, whatever you want to do. Um, but when it comes to, like, we're about to get to a light or intersection, I need you guys to slow down because we're, we're all not about to die. <laughs> right. So I came up, you know, I've always been saying, like, relax. Like, if we're walking, I'll say relax, and it's always, it always it goes back to you know your commands with dogs in a total sense of like heel and stuff like that. Um, when I'm walking my dogs, they're not pulling me, like I'm not having my dogs pull me on the leash and stuff like that. So they're walking beside me, relax. So they're they're walking beside me and um, <laughs> they're walking beside me and when they're when they are trying to, <laughs> Chris, you got to relax. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> yes, you stay. <laughs> you don't like this. Stay, stay, <laughs> stay. <laughs> he <just> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so sometimes when it comes to like just walking your dog, um, they do try to pull or go towards like another dog. So I have to say relax. And that's one of my common commands and stuff like that. Good. Maxine, no. <laughs> no. You're very well trained. I try. Lay down. Lay down. Nope. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Maxine is a little more seasoned. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Chris Definitely. is a little more hyper. As you can see. <laughs> it's understandable, though. It's a male, yeah. you know? But it's like a lot of people ask me, they'd be like, who's your favorite? I'd be like, I don't yeah. have a favorite. Yeah, you, can't, yeah, you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's. Maxine sees great when it comes to running with on a skateboard and stuff like that. If you ever watch my videos, Maxine is always in the front. Okay. Chris is always the lazy one. He always like, all right, I'm I'm done. Like, Tone this down a little bit. Why the hell are you pulling so hard? Right. And then when we do slow down, that's when he want to take charge and then oh, be like, all right, okay. gotcha. trying to overdo it now. But Maxine, she's usually the one that you know she's the quiet one. Um, she she likes to you know she likes to run more than anything. Chris likes to run because he got into the routine of routine it. But Chris does a little bit more, like, he, he could give you high five and stuff like that. He could speak. Um, they, but they both got the pros and cons, really. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like, I feel like children, you could definitely pick a favorite, but dogs, you can't, you know. Yeah, but even with that, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> like, even with that, it's like, you still have your favorite to an extent because, you know, I could be just like my mom, and she could see the similarities, but mm -hmm. it's something that she don't like, and it's probably because I'm too much like her. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Or you're too much like your dad or something like that. So Yeah, yeah definitely. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. I see myself in my dogs, definitely. Okay. Yeah. You know, even though I call my children, you know, when I be dating, I be letting the girls know, like, you know, when I become your stepfather, you know, when I become the stepfather to your kids, don't treat my dogs like no pets. You know what I'm saying? To the kids, <laughs> like, too. For a fact. We're kids out here. They're so adorable. <laughs> just chilling. It's so funny. I couldn't believe when, when you walked in here, you, they just like, they, the, want, the, they yeah. wanted to get up and run around so bad. Oh, yeah. They want to smell every so inch good. of this place. Yeah. Like, I, 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 have like a, I have a dog, but it's just absolutely like so untrained. So like, I'm super impressed with like, just like the simplest thing. But like, you have them like really locked. Like just to sit there and chill. Mm -hmm. It's just, I mean, that's all. It's quite, like, I feel like that's a lot of work. 
<laughs> Damn, you gotta be dedicated to that shit, you know? Like, it, it, people it, take, like, their, their dogs to, like, classes and shit. Like, have you ever done that? Well, no. I, I trained them myself. Okay. Um, I actually didn't have them, like, when it was puppies and stuff, like, either. Okay. I, well, Maxine, I did a little bit because he used to be my brother's dog. All right. And then um, he went to Texas, and at that time, I wasn't, you know, in the capacity to have a dog. Um, but once I moved into my own space, she turned, like, what, two? And then that's when I had her, like, two and a half. And then from then I had her, so I had her about for five years. Chris was my best friend dog from uh, school. And um, basically she went, she got a house that didn't allow pit bulls and stuff like that, or dogs and something like that. And Chris, he, he likes to speak and be all loud and howl at every fire, fire that go by and stuff like that. So she gave one to me. So I had him at the age of one, I believe. So I only had him for like two years. Okay. So. You know, it's just a constant, like I said, it's repetition. Yeah, like, definitely. And people, people say all the time, you know, they always say, oh, pit bulls are horrible dogs and stuff like that. And he'd be like, oh, it's the owner. Yeah, it, it comes to owner training. You know, you kind of got to, not a lot of owners don't really put, it, put the time in for it. You know, yeah. even like kids, they ask me, oh, how you be going viral? How you teach your dog to do this, this and that? How you learn those, you know, video game moves? Like, I don't know. Right, <laughs> but you Constant know, practice and right. If you if you if you invest your time in a certain area, you learn different things for your own benefit. Yeah, definitely. It's like a um, it's like it's kind of like a grind, honestly. <laughs> like just a constant. Like you got to make sure you're on it. Oh yeah, definitely. But so, when you first started training him, did you ever think you'd start going viral on TikTok? And no shit? idea. Well, when I started having my dog pull me, I knew. Yeah, I, yeah, I felt. I was like, I was like, this is some, this is good. Like. Me, from day one when uh, she was pulling me, um, I was like, people keep on taking out their phone and record me. So mm-hmm. I'm like, all right. You know, because I was in the middle of the street as well. So it's like, that's not every day. Yeah, you see people probably having their dogs pull them in the park, but in the middle of the street, that's different. Yeah. So after that, I was like, and it's crazy because my first video that I made that, you know, I tried to go viral with was I dressed up as the Grinch. My dog name is Maxine. So it made sense. You know, yeah. I'm the Grinch. This is Max. Like... So I had her pull me around on the outside, and, um, and I was standing up as well. And I actually, I wanted to bring her into the mall, but I didn't. But I did go in the mall with, like, with the Grinch outfit on. Yeah. And I told Santa, I was like, hey, buddy, you're in my seat. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, this is the one. It's definitely going to do it. And then it got like 600 views. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. all right. But it was Facebook, too. So, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Facebook is like the toughest to go viral with. Definitely. Well, definitely. yeah, on, like, if, yeah, viral period. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, honestly. Business yeah. page and personal page. Mm-hmm. So when I did go viral on a personal page, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get paid. <laughs> 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 and it was like, no, you got to have it on the business page. I'm like, oh, well, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, so, like, was it just, like, a, was it your idea or to start like the TikTok and making videos, stuff like that? Or was it like, did somebody suggest it to you? Well, the pandemic did it to me. Okay. Um, after the, the pandemic, I was like, shoot, you know what I'm saying? Everybody on TikTok, I'm watching these videos. You know, I'm very creative, you know, energetic. And I sing, play piano, you know. I, I would say acting a little bit. I'm really good with improv. Like I could really you seem like hop in and get into yeah. it, yeah. So, you know, it was little little sketches I was trying to do on TikTok at first and just play around with it. And, you know, I was still riding my dogs just, you know, that's how I walk them, you know, on a daily. So someone else actually recorded me and was like, and that went viral. So I'm like, okay, if that made it on the shared room with, you know, her and my dogs, well, uh. No, other people would record me. So, like I said, I, I would I would ride my dogs, and I would see people with their phone out and stuff like that, and they would be recording me. It was a couple times on Facebook where someone either took a picture or they recorded me, and it was like, look at this dude. So it would be like a couple thousand. Um, I think the picture was like 10,000 uh, views on it. And I'm like, all right, everybody else doing it. Why? I should be doing it myself. We got something here. So the one, the one girl that actually did the video and made it on the shade room, that's when I was like, okay, I need to bring my camera out every time. Like, you know, every chance I get, oh, yeah. make my own content. Because I'm like, if anyone else is doing it, might as well. 
Yeah, you know, and some people. Crazy. I saw that on the shade room too. Yeah, that was crazy. That was a while ago. How long ago was that? Two years ago. Two so you years started ago. this two years ago, huh? Yeah. Uh, started, well, that's that's how like, that's how long I've been grinding for. Hell yeah! Like you know, definitely trying to keep my name out there. You know, make yeah. something happen and you know oh, see yeah. see what opportunities can come from it. Because once I made from the made it to the shade room, I had I remember that morning. Um, my cousin was like blowing up my phone, like, oh. You you gotta capitalize. You gotta do something. Like you gotta start promoting dog training. This, I'm like, I don't train dogs. I train my dogs. <laughs> That's right, it. Right. Like it's a difference, you know. It's, it's a like a proper way, and then it's a mediocre way. And I got the mediocre way. <laughs> right. Or you got your own way to per se. I don't know if I'd call it mediocre. I've seen how they're doing. Right. Like, yeah. I know what you mean. Like there's like a like it's kind of like anything. Like you could go your own avenue with it, or you could just like have a professional type thing. Right. Whatever professional is, professional is just what they, it's been made into. You know what I mean? Right. Like what the standard is. But shit, I mean, I'd, I'd pay you. <laughs> some, some dog shit. I can't get a dog to sit still. Yeah. I, I, so I'll I be doing like sometimes I'll do like basic training and stuff like that. Okay. Like how to have your dog walk with you on a leash. Right. I think I kind of mastered that one and. um you know, just me, me personally, like, they have, like, the one TikTok, you know, who in your house uh, live in your, like, who lives in your home rent-free? So you usually, like, show a baby or they show your dog. Yeah. I'm like, my dogs don't live rent-free. They definitely work. <laughs> like, <laughs> everything that they do, they got to work for it. If they want to eat, you got to go through all your commands. You got to sit. You got to lay down. You know, Fact. check check the perimeter. You know, speak, high-five, whatever you know how to do, we're doing it before you eat, you know. My dog be drooling, but you know yeah. it's still the proper of it's still the cause of you know you you gotta understand you know you're not just getting food. This is your reward yeah, it's for like a, you listening. Like it's kind of like honestly like raising a kid in yeah. an aspect like that. Like just trying to like teach like basic manners type thing, mm -hmm. or like you can't get your dessert till you finish your vegetables type yeah, shit. Definitely, <laughs> that's what I first thought. Yep. <laughs> No, but that's that's actually like I never even thought of it that way, honestly. Like, yeah. shit, you're right. <laughs> they they, they gotta know. Like, you gotta do your shit first. Then For a fact, eat. you know, you, you, we all got our own responsibilities. You gotta clean up somewhere. And yeah. So why not you guys too? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so do they eat like super super fast? Chris does. Chris tried to like. Yeah, he's younger. Yeah, I, I think I got to get one of those special bowls Speed with the training bowl. Yeah, yeah. I used to have one of those. Because he definitely he don't he don't eat super fast, but he definitely take big chunks. Yeah, like he, he, he definitely be like, all right, I'm about to eat everything in one bite. Just inhale okay. it. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Just right into it. <laughs> Actually, she used to be like that, but she's not like that anymore. You know, it, but it depends on what I feed them to. Yeah. You know, chicken, they definitely be going crazy for it. Oh, so. yeah, for sure. Definitely. And I'll be cutting up the chicken breasts. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, um, like, is this like an everyday thing you take them out as much like, like, even like rain or shine, you go out running or uh, I, say running. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Some people call it mushing. Okay. Um, that's like that's that, that, that's that, what they be that term? that's like, what they be texting on my uh, TikTok. They be okay. like mush mush. I'm like all right. <laughs> For like a good six months, I did not know what that was. I'm like okay, weird. <laughs> but it was like most most people was doing it, and then if someone else called it something else. It's something like a newer sport where your dog pull you on like a tricycle or okay. a, a two-wheeler or something like that or some type of bike. Okay. And people was like, yeah, you should get into it, sign up. I'm like, maybe. Start you know. doing some races. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. Someone's at the studio doorbell. Well. <laughs> hey, someone's at the doorbell, guys. <laughs> Got a special guest? Uh, <laughs> Just walk in the front door. <laughs> um. <laughs> Wait, what, 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 were, what were you saying? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like I feel like there's so many creative names we could come up with for it. We should make it like. What do they thing. call it when Siberian huskies? Are, is that mushing? I, like when I, that was like huskies dog sledding. Shit? I, I, I don't. I'm not dog sledding. Hey, dog sledding. I guess. I like do you, so I know you do it in the winter. Do you do it on a sled? Yeah. How do you do it? In the I winter? tried. I tried. Um, I think I got get one of those like the Home Alone ones where you can actually shirt? turn with it. Okay, okay. Because the other sled, like the, the flat ones that you just you know go down the hill mm, with, right, right. Yeah, that didn't work. I tried. No, I, yeah. had to, I had to rope my hand. I said, "Let's go." And we started drifting <laughs> to the left and the right, and I'm like, "Yep, this is not working." <laughs> but I don't know because Maxine and Chris they don't really like the snow. Oh, you know, okay. they're, they're short hair. 
Yeah, yeah. definitely. I get and that. Maxine be like, this real quick. Be like, yeah, let's go home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. I'll be trying, though. Like, if it's like a little bit of slush, I'll be trying to get through it or something like that and so you can make some content. But I think the most part, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to see if I could go like down south. Yeah. Like during the winter. Definitely. You know, at least, at least make an appearance down there. Oh, it's yeah. like down, I don't know, Virginia, North Carolina. Area. My yeah. thing is like, my thing is like, you're in Buffalo right now. And like, like you say, like, um, I mean, if you've been doing like the whole TikTok thing for this long, like I know for a damn fact, people know who you are. You know what I mean? They do. So it's like. like my dad's he, my dad is in Texas right now. And okay. uh, he was like, oh, you got people down here asking about you. I'm like. Okay. <laughs> you can't see. That's what I'm saying. Make this like, like, dude. You just pop up in different places all around. That shit would be funny. So that that's what cool. I'm doing. That's that, exactly okay, what good. I'm doing. That shit would be cool. So I already went to New York City. Uh-huh. During the pandemic, I went to uh, Times Square. You know, Times Square is he- hella packed. Like you can't. Cameras everywhere too. Yeah, it's, it's but it's like shoulder to shoulder out there though. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I went there in the pandemic. It was a lot of less people, even though it was kind of like a bad travel because <laughs> when I was going through I ended up running like a guy over and I'm like oh my bad you are good I'm like you good all right we good like you know, I can't be moving but uh no nah, it was it was definitely a good experience because like a lot of people wasn't expecting us at all so good boy you stay you stay <laughs> you, like, Nick, can you sit grab his mic up a little bit you stay stay Good boy. Um, Give her a little crank on the on the handle if you can. It, it might be very tight already. That thing. I need to take that home and just work on it, dude. Grease it up or something. There we go. Appreciate it. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, New York City's gotta be tough, but like. Oh, it's gotta be so tough. I mean, dude, there's there's so many cities. Like, so I was in Ohio uh, for my birthday. I was in Cleveland, Ohio. Maxine, up. Lay down. Hey. Uh, lay down. Lay down. Oh, we're dialing the peanut butter again now. <laughs> <laughs> lay down. Lay down. They find. <laughs> so the, the biggest hardship I have is when I start talking to people, they be like, all right, he's distracted. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> um, so for my birthday, I was in Ohio, and I was riding around there, and the people was like, What's going on? Like, amazed. Um, I definitely want to go back because people at Debbie was like, all right, you didn't tell us that you was coming. And so I'm like, you know, I guess that would be a good idea to do is let the people know that I am going to be in Ohio or whatever. Lay down. <laughs> Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. <laughs> this has got to be, like, one of the most different podcasts ever. This is awesome. <laughs> this is cool. Though. I love it. Like, it, it's, like, so different, but it's awesome. Chris, with me. Chris, Lay down. Good. Sit. So is Maxine fixed? She is not. Neither. They have babies. They did have babies before, but I be trying to stop it. Yeah, facts. You know, I I know when she get in heat. You know, so when a dog get in heat, like you know, just like a woman. Yeah. You know, um, at like the first week they can't do anything. It's like automatically you can't. The second week it's like okay you can try, but. When she start going, I'll be like, all right, one's in the cage and one is not. And, you know, yeah, yeah. you got to get the pamper and all that. Yeah. And Chris, he, he tries every time. <laughs> he definitely <laughs> be trying. Um, I was thinking about having her have puppies one more time um, before I do get them fixed. But I'm like, uh, should we, should we not? Because it puts a hold on everything as well. Definitely. Um, if I was to, it probably would be like during the winter time and stuff like that. But... That's why the, he could do this all day. <laughs> but yeah, but I definitely, I definitely do want to travel to like different areas. I definitely want to go to Florida, like Florida, California, Texas during the winter is definitely like my go-to places. Yeah, I feel it, like Florida along like even like Fort Lauderdale along the beach, Strip, Miami. Yeah, yeah, definitely somewhere down. That would like, be lit. And across the street, there's like tons of little restaurants and stuff, mm-hmm. and then they get this whole. And then the traffic is not that bad over there too. Yeah. Think about California, like Venice. Oh yeah. 
whipping yeah. it and all Brought that to, like, shit. Venice Beach. You get, yeah. Oh, my God, man. And, like, my, my mind works, like, if you're trying to create content to it at the same time, promote your stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, shit, you, you said you just made shirts, which you're wearing. Yeah. Like, you have you have a shirt or some shit, or you have, like, a sign. I don't know, some way. There's always a way. Even if you don't have anything, people are going to be filming that. Yeah. Taking pictures of it. Look at that thing. There's always, out there, always. Out there especially, there's I mean, every two people that you see. But like you said Times Square. That hit my head instantly. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, think about the amount of people. Because, like, that's something you don't see every day. Mm-hmm. That is, like, something so different. Like, I know for, I, funny story, I'll, I'll go, I'll come back in a second. But I actually, for my first time seeing you, I saw you outside filming one day. <laughs> um, it was a. Uh, the uh, Conway show. Yeah. Down at uh, the Harbor Center. Yeah. And we passed you. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, he got me on video, too. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Wes got you on. I'm like, yeah, because so he sent me one of your TikToks. I had no idea you were even doing, you were on TikTok. Yeah. So he sent me one of your TikToks. I'm like, oh, my God, I saw him, like, a week ago. <laughs> and, then, and then I saw Wes saw you, too. And I'm like, oh, that shit is so funny. Where? So I drove right by. I'm like, what? I'm like, it was my girlfriend. I'm like, are you seeing this shit? This is insane. I've never seen anything like it. But it's something so simple at the same time. Because mm-hmm. like, I used to have a kid um, that lived down the road from me growing up. He would always have his dog pull him on the skateboard. But right. I've never seen anything sitting down. Right. Which is so, like, it's so, so simple, but it's so different, you know? It's, it's cool. How many times have you fallen? Twice. That's it? Twice. And when, when at MLK, I forgot what happened. But it was, I think I was like trying to try something new, and it didn't work. And then it was another time, you know how downtown they got the, uh, the bar that paddles and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. Um, it was the people in there. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have to come on the side of them, make, make some content, you know, probably, you know, freak them out, uh-huh. and then turn around and go back. So they caught me before. They was like, wait, wait, trying to get their phone out and stuff like that. So I had a quick turn. And end up falling off the back. I forgot what happened, but um, it's one of where where um, cobblestone is. Okay. You know how cobblestone got them like bumpy roads. Yeah. 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 Grind your ass on that. <laughs> like I t- tell you, I had a brush burn on my backside for like a good couple of weeks. I'm yeah. like, well, let me get a skateboard up. sponsor. Yeah. yeah skateboard that's sponsor. A fact, dude. I bet you. Yeah. There's definitely. Yep. You know what I'm saying? If, if uh, Fat Man is watching, you know what I'm saying? I'll definitely get my wheels from there. Like, like there you go. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, you, definitely. There's definitely a big opportunity for that. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I think, I think that's my, like, right now I'm getting more exposure with other platforms other than TikTok. Mm-hmm. Like, even like Instagram, they hit me up today. It was like, you could get paid for your content, mm-hmm. you know, because I think my bills, the one for the bills went up to like 35K. That's my first time getting that within like a couple of days and stuff like that. Other than you know, the help of World Star or Hood Funny Videos or something like that, you know, promoting me and stuff like that. So, uh, organic content from my Instagram recently, you know, got me to that spot. So I'm like, all right, you know, yeah. I, I talked with this other brand recently about um, doing, you know, a little collaboration. Um, but it's a small business. They have like these little dog feet. Mm-hmm. And it pretty much all it does is it protects the souls of the dogs. And I'm like, I wanted them to c- come back out with it because, or they was already coming back, but they had it on hold. I guess when they first came out, they were sold out real quick. Mm-hmm. And they're awesome because they're not like regular dog shoes. Like they definitely let your dog run free and it only protects the soul. And, you know, if you go to PetSmart, all the dog shoes are all the same size and stuff like they that. Wrap the and and stuff. Yeah. I, I tried... I try to put them in it, you know, especially for like the winter time, you know, winter probably too, yeah. right. Try to have it safe for their feet. And my dogs will flip it right off yeah. while running. Sure. I'll be running down the street. I'll be like, why you got three shoes on? <laughs> 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 Where's the fourth one? So I got to turn around and go find it in like some grass somewhere. I don't know. But it's so funny. And like, I, I'm not like, believe me, I'm just throwing out ideas. Mm-hmm. But I'm sitting here thinking, yeah. I, I, I hate like, I hate like recommending anything because I don't want to be like, Anybody on the podcast, I don't want you to think I'm telling you what to do. Oh, you know, I don't think that. But I was just sitting here thinking, like you said earlier, like did you ever go any? Did you ever expand anywhere else? With like you said, you dress up as a Grinch. Yeah. Like, did, have you done anything like dressed up as a certain thing? Well, that's that's how I went viral. Okay. The first time I went viral, I had the Santa hat on. Okay. I had antlers on both of them. Okay. You know, I had they. You know, they had it was cold outside, so I, I bought them some uh, winter jackets. Yeah. But I had a wig too. So the most, I, as far as I will go is, you know, Santa hat, 
Santa wig, you know, probably put a Santa, I mean, like a red cap on, because, you know, I'm the hood Santa. I'm not Santa Santa. Yeah. You know, I was elected by elves unanimously. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's probably as far. Um, I do be trying to do a little bit more when it comes to it. Like, I had, like, a onesie that I was going to put on, and I'm like, yeah, it's too cold for that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like yeah, it's too far, but I I would do more stuff like that. Because like here's me thinking like you could turn it into like a serious type thing, like shit. Any holiday you could do something funny, like yeah, from all the way from Halloween. You imagine Michael Myers riding down the fucking road. Yeah, that would be crazy. That shit yeah. would be hard as fuck. That shit would be so funny because mm-hmm. I see all these TikTok videos of like especially around this time of year or October coming up, mm-hmm. of just people dressed up in costumes doing shit. And, like, dude, you imagine Michael Myers or Jason for anything, any, like, Halloween thing. Right. Just riding down, just, and, like, Michael just sits straight. That shit would be so funny. And you just turn the hood. <laughs> shit like that. Or, like, then you could be a leprechaun. Mm-hmm. You could be fucking goddamn for July 4th to put a fucking American uh, hat on. He's still so, Santa, though. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, some, some people, it was like, yeah, after Santa, it. you got to be, like, baby uh, New Year or something like that. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> put on a diaper. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> the diaper, I may have nightmares of that. <laughs> um, no, yeah, that, long story. Um, no, yeah, I just think that like that should be funny, especially with how TikTok works. Yeah, because like they're super seasonal, like, not even TikTok. So also. what makes it so difficult is like I I have hella ideas uh-huh. like that I want to do. Um, what makes it most tough is that I don't have anyone to record me. Right. Like I be doing most of my content myself. You know, me and my left hand. And, um, like, and it's, I be trying to have people. Sometimes I have random people. Sometimes I have a certain person that record me. But, you know, I need someone that has, like, the creative mind of, okay, what would the people like to see? You know, I have, you know, some ideas of getting dressed up. You know, even, like, you know, robbing the bank and I'm your getaway driver. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, that would be crazy. Like, all right. You got a dog, but I, I started want to do like uh, more skits, you Skip, know. Yeah, I like that. You know, one show my personality because you know, the dogs are famous enough, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, bring my, my personality into it. You know, bring some more humor mm-hmm. um, to the whole hood Santa package. Um, yeah. I was starting to do it with a, a guy that was in uh, Rochester. His name is Chaz. Um, he does uh, the sink or swim. Okay. Um, in Rochester, he's yeah. actually going to be T on uh, the war show. They having oh, like really? the sink or swim down there in Houston and Miami. But I'm like, you know, just doing work with him and other creators. You know, it definitely, you know, give me more ideas and what I should do and stuff like that. I actually hit up another content creator in Chicago, and I'm supposed to be going out there. And, you know, we've been DMing each other and stuff like that. He want to come here. I want to go out there. And I'm like, you know, you know, I want to go out there to ride my dogs, you know. Yeah. Let me know the best place to do it, you know, where they will go crazy. Yeah. You know, I want to get to a point where with the second cameraman, I can start getting people's reactions and yeah, stuff like that. And I think that's what the people are looking for is, you know, one, see me outside of the skateboard, you know. Kind of like it was uh, another guy that went viral for riding his dogs. But he was on like one of those Home Depot carts. It was oh, in Atlanta. And he had like a drywall in the Atlanta. back. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, he saw my idea. I was the first one. But you know, it's all good. You know, yeah. other people want to try when they see it, yeah. and I, I'm I, I'm excited to see it too. You know, I see other people like, oh, Santa, Santa, you did it first, this and that. So I'm like, yeah. yeah. But to get the people reaction in that second view, I think it would definitely make my videos extra definitely. dope. That third person perspective, you can. There's a lot of things you could do with that when you bring another one in. Big 716 Nick do a hype video. <laughs> like a hype video for you? That'd be sick. Where? No, yeah, um, definitely. Like, yeah. She get a... Have you ever done a GoPro? Like a 360 GoPro? Oh. Um, I see. I saw ooh, there was... 360 camera. There was a video. Uh, <laughs> this guy that went viral on TikTok, he puts his dog on his back and rides his motorcycle. With the motorcycle helmet on, and he had the 360 the camera. he had yeah. a motorcycle helmet on. And he so you like got the view of that dog. Yeah, so it's like a 360 camera. It gets everything. Mm-hmm. And those he cameras are on his helmet, but that's know. the most beautiful part about those cameras, though. Yeah, they look kind of weird, though. Yeah, but that's just because what they are haven't haven't technology. Yeah, my uh, I have the GoPro, so I'll be putting that on my head. Yeah, and then I have like the selfie stick with it. So, okay. Okay. Chris, chill out. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I have the uh, selfie stick, and then that's a good way for me to do it. I try to have a, uh, I try to do a little bit of content because they have like uh, different connections for the uh, GoPros, and I was going to try to put the GoPro on like the dog, so you have the dog pers- perspective so of it. That would you know, be funny. I definitely. I'm gonna try to do that again. Um, yeah. What I try to do, I think I try to do that at night and stuff like that. So. Okay. Yeah. I mean. How does that work? You put it on the harness or something? Um. On their back. Like it, it has us like a slot for like your cap. Is is I think it's mainly designed for like your like your fitted cat and stuff like yeah. stuff like that. Um. So I just try to slit it right in there, yeah. and. Yeah. You know, of course, I'm paying close attention because I don't want it to drop. But, you know, <laughs> yeah. If I get you know a good minute of it, I'm good. Hell yeah. Leave it. Leave it. Chris, sit down. Good oh boy. Hey, stay. <laughs> now, at this point, has it like turned into like um, like mainly like you 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 do it every day? But like, do you? You always focus on like content creation aspect, or you still just like do it for fun sometimes. I just do it just to write it. Okay. It depends on where I'm at. Yeah. If I if I'm uh, know I'm going to be like around people, um, I'll do it then. Um, if I come up with an idea, I'll do it. But um, for the most part, I just do it just to, like to walk them and stuff like that. Cool. Okay. So like it's like I, I like that actually because like a lot of the things like you see something like this or like any people like they'll just do it for like three minutes you know what I mean like, mm-hmm. like, and like just for a video click now I, I, they definitely get the exercise with it cool um, you gotta practice I feel like too definitely yeah for a fact and um <laughs> <laughs> what I usually do is I, I do walk them because when I do go out of town like we do go like around corners and stuff like that like we'll be riding for a while I have them to a point where they could pace themselves and stuff like that. Okay. Um, and that's the reason why I still practice doing it. Hey, sit down. Lay down. Relax. Lay down. Chris, lay down. Good, good boy. Can you speak? Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, when, when we're out of town, like, um, I try to do it so they can stay, stay fit, you know, so when we do go like out of town and stuff like that, we could go, you know, and go for a while instead of just you know stopping. And then also, um, they they build callus with their feet and stuff like that, yeah. especially with these um, hard hard roads that we got. Oh, you yeah. know, um, I, I try to make make sure I uh, maintain and watch you know what they step on and stuff like that. But yeah. it, it gets gets difficult trying to watch out for everything, I but imagine, it, it yeah. do happens. Yeah. But as long as I think when I did have them like sit like during the winter, as soon as I come out for the first time, like they'll have like little scrapes on their hands and stuff like that. And I'm yeah. like, all right, you know, keep on moving, you know. Mm-hmm. And then they do get fat during the winter time as well because we don't be running. So, it's tougher, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I feel like it, everybody does. Yeah, Chris, definitely <laughs> get out of the weight. <laughs> Yeah, the salt is tough on there. I was going to say, if it's yeah. not like the right salt, too, because not every business or even people use that. Right, so um, I try to do it, like, during the Bills uh, playoffs. And during the playoffs, it was um, it was difficult because the salt that they use is horrible for the dogs, which I was kind of shocked because they have dogs that patrol out there. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like... That's crazy, but like when I was it? when I was out there for the playoffs last time, I'm like, okay, we're only, we're only gonna be here for like a little bit because I could already see that you're they raising their paws up, they keep on licking it and stuff like that. <laughs> Mighty young. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, I was gonna ask about their paws. Do you ever have to clip their nails? Because I feel like no. they're yeah. That's just, just that's just just pure natural right there. It's grinding, grinding, grinding. They got their own natural filer. Yeah, yeah the, the pavement definitely do it. Yeah, you so, know. Has there ever been like a time where you go like way out of con- like not out of control, but like you're like zooming, you're like yo, <laughs> like, <laughs> um, like what, what do you th- what would you say is like max speed you've hit? To be honest, I don't even know. I know no? you go okay. fast as crazy. Um, I know it's out of control once my boards start to wobble. Yeah. So I'd be like, all right, we we got we got to relax. But um, I don't know. I do a lot of hills. Like yeah. I, I I have them like. Go up hills and stuff like that. I'm like, dig it out, dig it out, dig it out. <laughs> and they be getting up it. And then when we go down, you know, that's when I could let go of the leash. 
you know, have them run at their own pace down the hill. Yeah. But I get to a point where I'm super fast going down the hill too. Yeah, so I was gonna like, say that shit is no joke. Yeah, and I got longboard wheels on my skateboard. Okay. Right. A lot of people be like, "Oh, you got a skateboard? Like you should get a longboard." I'm like, uh, I I'd rather have the skateboard. Yeah. You know, I put the longboard wheels on it so it's smoother and it could go longer. I was gonna ask you that actually. Yeah. And um. I was going to say the the longboard is just too big when I want to cut corners or if I want to go in a store and get a water or something like that. It's huge. Yeah, it's I got to carry this big board. I could put the skateboard like right between my legs while I'm standing up. That's, so yeah. that's the reason why I do it like that. I had a longboard before. It got stolen. But, you know, life's a journey. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way she goes. Yeah. No, I, I was wondering that actually because, like, I mean, typically, like, I mean, skateboard wheels, yes, they're meant for riding, but not for like an impact like that. Yeah. I was wondering, like, how like often do you go through like bearings and wheels? Uh, they could. To be honest, they probably need to be changed now. But <laughs> I, I still like you know keep going. Um, with the type of wheels I have, like riding over glass, you know, cuts it. Cause I got the soft wheels. Yeah. So it's better um, on the pavement. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's like stones and the, like rugged roads. The harder wheels, it makes it more you know riding wise. It's not as smooth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why I'm so good with, you know, sitting down on it because it's so smooth, smooth. and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, that was my main that, question. Yeah, I, like, like, I'm really, I was going to get to it eventually, but I'm like, how the hell do you have so much control? Because, like, riding on a skateboard on your ass is kind of tough. Yeah. Let alone with two fucking beasts. Yeah, when I started off, I had skateboard wheels. I had, yeah. like, the soft ones. Like, uh-huh. yeah, it's great, but it's like... I was right, not meant I, for that. You know? I feel every bump, and then yeah. two... Any little rock, yes, I will get get caught up and yep. shit. Uh, it, it, will, it will definitely skirt, and you see that little rock tr- yep. tr- track going all the way across mm-hmm. the wall, like the floor and stuff like that. Yeah. So it definitely get to that point. So I'm like, yeah, and I asked, I was like, can I get like a bigger wheel and it could fit? He was like, yeah, this is the biggest size you can get, you know. And then I started with one, and then I tried to have them pull me on that, and it was too soft. Because if they see a dog, then my skateboard starts skipping to the side. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, all yeah. right, you know. So I got one that's most most durable. I think it's like a 35, something like that. Okay. But So you got like you got it down to like a science, like what wheels you need. Like you've experimented enough, like basically. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, okay. Kind of. I, I forget. Yeah. yeah I <laughs> I'm like, what are these? Yeah, get the same one. <laughs> these things, Jesus. <laughs> you know, just keep them the same. I've seen some other ones, like, online that, you know, they have wheels that light up now, or I think it's LED lights I could put on my skateboard, so I think I might <laughs> add that. You know, I already put <laughs> lights. Glows on the That'd dash. That would be cool. Now, I don't know how much you did see, like, because I've been making content for a while. I put a wagon on the back of my skateboard, like, during the wintertime, really? and that's why I'm Santa, because that I put a... I don't think I saw that. I didn't see that. Yeah, time. so I put a wagon on the back... You know, I've been trying to find innovative ways to keep the wagon on. Um, and when I was at the Bill Stadium in one of my videos, someone caught me. They was like, yep, there go Hud Santa. <laughs> yep, going back for his wagon. Like, they keep on falling <laughs> off yeah. because of, you know, the gravity. Yeah. And you know, I thought it would be good, but um, I had one of those, uh, the the contractor clips. I was just going to say a clip? Yeah. Okay. But I'm, I'm going to try to get something a little bit more secure because uh, when I first started doing on Chippewa, I had a speaker. On the back, and I had the speaker blasting music she while we were riding. Oh yeah, I think of creative ways to you know make the ride fun. You know, right. not just for me, but you know both of us. And you know, I think when I started doing, it, I think I was in, uh, I was working out in Niagara Falls, and they had a guy with a tractor, and on the back of his tractor, he had like speakers and stuff like that. Okay, and I'm like, this guy is crazy. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh. I took his idea. <laughs> Put his feet on the back of mine and, you know, I'm, it's not a tractor, but I'm with my dogs, you know, right now in style. Way cooler than a tractor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, way cooler. Not as loud as a tractor. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I didn't know. It. Actually, it was one of those. It wasn't a tractor. It was like a lawnmower. The ones that you sit on. So loud. I don't know. No, no. Um, I was thinking, like, maybe, like, uh, I don't know how, how down you are for it, but, like, Maybe like s- sort of drill two holes or some, something mm-hmm. in the back of the wood. Maybe like a maybe some sort of hook in. or clip or something. So I think my next um, idea I'm going to go with is um, they have the um, the bike trailers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever the, they hitch it onto there. Mm-hmm. Try to hit you with that. Um, yeah. If if I could, probably like put like some type of like lock hook, maybe, yeah, okay. and see if that would work. You know, as long as it don't you know 
hit me in my backside, you know, I'll be straight. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But I think I should be good because I had the clip back there so long that, you know, I know how far it could go. So, okay. you know, or even if I did it where it's on the bottom of it, I could do it maybe like that. But self t shirts yeah. off the back. Yeah, so I, I was giving out candy canes. Okay. And and that's that's one of the reasons why I'm, you know, so what happened was I, I, when I went viral with the shade room, you know, it was because I had the Santa hat, the antlers and stuff right, like that. Yeah. I, already that year, I was already like on my Facebook, like I feel like giving back to the community and stuff like that. Like if you got any like jackets or anything, like let me know if you want to, you know, contribute something to give back to the community, like let me know. And I was like, if you got any hats, gloves, scarves, if you want to donate, let me know. And from that, I went... I did that on Facebook, just an idea, and then I went viral, and I'm like, you know, that's when my family was like, oh, you should capitalize, capitalize, and I'm like, well, I was already thinking about, you know, doing charity work, you know, might as well bring my dogs in it, and we do charity work together and stuff like that, and so I'm like, yeah, um, this, I went live, Facebook live, and started going around with me and my dogs, you know, while I was still buzzing and stuff like that, and I had a whole lot of hats, gloves, scarves, and I was just passing it out to random people, you know. It was, it, it, and that, that's what really made me like Hood Santa, yeah. you know. Um, it, the, the people kind of gave me the name, opposed to me giving myself the name, you know. Yeah. yeah. But, have you thought about like live streaming? Like, like I don't know if you have or not, but like if, if, you, if you've done it like on a consistent, <laughs> not even consistent, just like live stream a ride? Um. I did. I just didn't know how to really go about it. Yeah, that's, um, that's where like another third party aspect yeah. can come in to help monitor it and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Right. So I try to. Uh, once I got the GoPro, I know you could live stream with the GoPro, but I didn't know if uh, if it was like strictly, um, like you had to be in like front of a screen or at home or you know with your video game and stuff like yeah. that. Um, or at least I didn't know how to where where I want to live stream it at. Right. I guess if I do like. Um, what's the most popular live stream one? Twitch. Yeah, Twitch. Twitch. I know yeah, T Pain be on that and stuff like Twitch, that. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can even like shit. I, I think that would pop as well. Because mm -hmm. like, there's like a lot of people who do like that um, mobile live stream thing. Really? TikTok. Oh, yeah. TikTok live. But I could just imagine crazy. people loving. This. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do. I try to do TikTok live even with that, but it's like it's difficult because yeah. once once I, once I start talking, <laughs> once I start talking. Like my dogs be like, okay, I can do whatever I want to do, facts, facts, I and it's it's kind of like a constant conversation where, okay, I'm telling you where to go. You know, if you see my one video, it's like right, left. Yeah. You know, they they listen out for that. Mm -hmm. Once I start talking, they do stuff like this. Where you be like, all right, we're gonna do yeah. whatever. You know. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> I was wondering that because like I that one would, fuck, I'd watch that. <laughs> that shit would be fucking cool, man. It'd be so it'd be so hard. I I couldn't even imagine doing that mm -hmm. hey, but trying to hold a phone and live stream well, and like read yeah. comments well, if while you're, you're doing if it you're gonna, too, if you're gonna do a live stream you get like more into it like you can like so like they have like rigs nowadays where mm -hmm. like it's like a, a backpack type thing yeah so like i'm even sitting here just saying i'm typical me i'm, I'm sitting here thinking how you can make it happen <laughs> We're yeah, i'm listening dan's man. about I'm, to steal yeah, your I'm, ideas i'm listening <laughs> no, like, I, I can't so. you think i can, I, yeah, I, I can I, get my dog to sit bro one thing i do is i definitely listen and I go from there, and I'll create, you know, yeah. ideas from that. Yeah. Um, they have, like, a backpack rig where, um, basically, you can live stream from anywhere. And, like, it can get as advanced as, as, advanced as you really want it to. Mm -hmm. So, like, you could do, like, I'm over here thinking, like, you could do, like, a dog view mm -hmm. or shit, even, like, your front view. And then they even have, like, a rig that, I mean... It's a little bit of weight. It's like, like if I could get it heavy. to connect to my GoPro, yeah, that would be like the best. There's, de it's def there's definitely a way on that. Like, like there's to a way just for have it, really. like, cause I can have my GoPro at least on my head. Yeah, so and you then, have like a head view, but then like I'm saying like you have like a fucking front view. Too right. So I was I was thinking that too, where you know even if I do have my camera, all right, it must be something great over there. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 if I do have like my uh, like my phone or another GoPro. Like I, I wanted, I wanted to do like a GoPro where, like where my legs are, like at least in between. Yeah. And then have it like a view just of me, yeah. so I could talk to the people with this and that, and then I could still view what my dogs is doing at the same time. So yeah. I'm not, I'm not like this looking over. No, right. You know, right. you have like a split. Yeah, no, definitely. Right. 
and then it'll it'll probably make it a little bit easier. I I have like a few people that I'll be talking to, you know. Yeah, it's definitely all um, possible. Yeah, that you need like you know you could you could do this too, and you know especially my one cousin, my one cousin Tyrone, he uh he's he's the craziest. He be coming with all different type types of ideas like oh you should turn your your skateboard into a sleigh like an actual sleigh. And I'm like. <laughs> I don't know how I would do it. Like, I'm on a skateboard, and you know, I'm trying to, you know, yeah. you know, creating a big sleigh. Is like, all right, how would I turn? How would I do this? Like, but it's I, it's, it's a lot of people that actually ask me, like, oh, you should ever think about doing that? And like, I'm like, that happens all the time with every. every I, I think about it, but it's like, every how would I go time. about it? You know? Yeah. It's it's, it's great in words. Like, he can agree <laughs> on, on paper. I don't know. Yeah, I know 100. percent He can agree on that. I can agree on that. Like people just hitting you up or. Like, yo, you should do this. You should try this. You should do this. It's like, but like, that sounds so easy on paper. Yeah. It's like, when you really put it down to it, it's like, damn, you gotta, you gotta think it through. But like, I just think like, I, I'm very impressed by the whole <laughs> I am, I'm not gonna lie. Cause like, it's so different. Like, like there, there's people on TikTok that are insanely popping, but they're just boring. Like anybody can, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? They do some shit like that. I see a lot of people go viral doing basic things. But, Incredibly big, like, and then even like with the like the lives, I seen a guy on live this morning, dressed up as like, not Iron Man, but it was Captain America, mm -hmm. dressed up as Captain America. He had a, like a big i iPad, I guess, and it showed his live stream, and then he went through and it was like just tapping on the people that was watching, following, liking the video yeah. post, yeah. take it down, go to the next one, dance, and I'm like. And he got like three thousand people watching him, sending him gifts. I'm like, that shit's crazy, man. Yeah, that shit and is crazy. It, sometimes you do got to just think outside of the box. But sometimes thinking outside of the box, you, you don't have to because you could just simplify it, and you have people that's so engaged. Say, with shit, that. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're already outside the box because yeah. I don't see anyone like recreating this. And especially like like the thing is like somebody could recreate it. Maybe they have dogs pulling them, Correct. or like like your personality and the whole thing too. Yeah. So like you definitely have like the personality for it. Like you're entertaining. I can I can just see that and based off your videos, like appreciate it's got it. The, definitely the push yeah. on it. I was just gonna say TikTok is crazy with the lives and shit. Yeah. I know I know a kid that literally just talking to people and like would mess with his mom or do whatever. Like mm -hmm. he made forty grand one month. Really? Going live every day for like five hours, six hours. You just be on live. It, I, I, that's the only thing. Like, I, I'm the type of person where I have to talk to somebody. I can't talk to myself for like. <laughs> I could be able to talk to myself for an hour. I mean, but sense. to be on there and like just like some people could do it. Like I, I, the one dude was going viral for saying nothing. All he would do is look at the screen. Yep. I, um, I'm like, how? Like, yep. it's. it's it's crazy and it's madness, actually. Yeah, and for, for I, I tried it a couple times. I did have some people that you know were engaging. You know, when you're going viral, it's, it's definitely one of the best times to go live oh, because yeah. your streaming is going crazy. Shit's popping up on everybody's yeah. for you, and then they see the live there. Yeah. Oh shit! This dude, maybe he's doing it right now. Mm -hmm. What's he doing? Yeah, that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Asking, probably asking the same questions. Where are you from? What's their names? Yeah. You know, so you like saying it like ten times. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, it's, it happens. But that shit, like, I like it a lot. It's good. Original yeah. shit. It's not very often you see something like that original. Like, yeah, in not, all honesty, you know? I, I swear, everyone loves me. It, when I be going on Chippewa, you know, it could be day, night, you know. I was dressed up as Spider-Man one time. See, going around the there. shit I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I was dressed up as Spider-Man, and this is the first time I ever dressed up for Halloween. Um, you probably look like you're about to sneeze. Um... <laughs> I had him dress up as like some kind of like superhero, and she was Wonder Woman, and we was going through Chippewa just right around. We might do that again this year. Hell yeah! I, it, would, it would definitely be fun. And people was like, "Spider Man, Spider Man!" Like, what's up? <laughs> you know, everybody just wanted to, uh, you know, greet him and stuff like that. You know, it definitely like a joy. I think people probably see me like twenty times, and they every time they I come by them, they, it brings a joy to their face and stuff like that. You want to speak again? Speak. Sit. Chris, sit. I'm crying. <laughs> you want some water? <laughs> <laughs>
to wrap it up. The dogs, the dogs are thirsty. Yeah, probably dogs want to are... run around here a little bit. Oh yeah. Um, where can people buy your merch? Um, right now I'm just doing pre-orders. Um, they could DM me. Um, I'm trying to set up a website as we speak. Okay. Um, I have my brother on it. At first, I was I was trying to do merch, and then I stopped. I was in between jobs and stuff like that, trying to get life together. And um, but anywhere you, you could DM me, I could send it out. Or if you're in Buffalo, you know I could give it to you in person with the Pull dogs. With the dogs. You we'll, know what I'm saying? We'll link your Instagram in the description. <laughs> yeah, definitely. The video. But I, I definitely got a lot of merch coming. Um, I had a. If you watch my TikTok, I got the one with the big hut Santa with the colors and stuff like that. I'm gonna definitely get that one out. Um, a lot of people have been acting actually for that one, but I'm like, you know, this one's a little bit cheaper. Um, twenty five dollars, you know. But this actually my first search that I've been selling. Good boy, you, you sit down. You gotta relax. Sit. I'm not a I'm not a dog liquor person. <laughs> no. <laughs> Me either. So I, I I've met some people that they would let the dogs literally lick oh. you all over the face like people are fucking nuts. And no. yeah. Guilty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean I guess one or two, but like dude, like there's people who let that dog just go ham. Yeah, yo, for a fact, no, they would like. You you've seen the videos of people with like that like let them get it in their mouth too, right? You have seen those? Yeah, I did. What the? My, my fuck friend used to you? do that. No, what's wrong with you? I want to like, say his name. You can say his name. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, my friend used to do that. He, he used to be in the house playing video games. He'd be like with his little chihuahua. I'm like, all right. No, 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 no. Bro. I'm like, no, I'm drawing a line on that I'm one. like, no. I'm, I'm cutting on that. I'm not into that. Exactly. Right. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. I'm not into that. Ugh. I let my dog lick my hand, and I wash my hands later. That's yes, about it. Facts. You know. That face shit. So he said, I'm guilty. <laughs> oh, yeah, for a fact. Yeah. Can't do it. But yeah, um, I'll, I'll definitely be getting the website up and popping. Cool. Um, cool. I wish you the best. Yeah, Hope definitely. everything goes well. Shit. Yeah. I want to see you in different cities. Oh yeah, I want to see it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be lit everywhere. Like, Hood Santa's and, coming. And then like, it, it be, it, I think that's one of the biggest things I do like is when people don't expect me coming. Okay. No, when people don't expect me coming at all, it's like, what just happened? Like, yeah, like what the what's going on? That? Like, who, who am I looking at? And it was funny because when I was in Ohio, I was like, I wonder if anyone do know me. Yeah, and it probably was somebody. It was one guy that was like, Santa. I'm like, yeah, I'm telling you. I was like, yeah, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah, definitely. Yeah, people, I guarantee you, you take those, you take, you'll at least find one person. Oh, yeah. Right, in, I mean, I'm talking right now. I'm not even talking future growth. Mm -hmm. Somebody will know you. In any city like that? Well, yeah, I, I definitely got a lot of people in that uh, in Atlanta. Okay. So I'm, I'm before this year is over. I'm I'm gonna hit Chicago. I already hit Ohio. I wanted to hit D Detroit, but I might put it on the back burner. Well, let's, let's see how the winter goes. Right, so right, I'm right. trying to hit Chicago. Definitely hit Atlanta, and I've, if, if if anything by winter time. Like by like January, I want to be in like California. Start banging out west, yeah, Arizona, even, yeah, Nevada, Vegas. Mm -hmm. You imagine Vegas? I've been, I've been checking out the Airbnbs. You know yeah. what I'm saying they accept Good. dogs. Good. You know what I'm saying don't don't release too much information, but I, I like that. I do. I like that. That's definitely good. good. So. Keep it a shock factor. <laughs> Hell yeah! You never know where you're gonna see. It's gonna center. be. It's definitely gonna be lit. That's gonna be awesome, man. Sure, bro. We appreciate yeah. you coming on. Yeah, no problem, man. Um. Make sure you guys go follow him. Link in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. Otherwise, you're a big fat pussy bitch. Sir. <laughs>